So I completed every single mission. I've killed Killa 100 times. What exactly is next? Well, I do plan on doing Season 5 of Hardcore in the future, which is going to be pretty exciting with all the hideout changes. But before then, I want to make more guides, have more PvP, especially endgame PvP content, create more unique builds, take a look at more weapon concepts, and just enjoy playing the Tarkov experience as a whole. I also want to hit 51 Endurance, because I'm very close of hitting it naturally, which has been a mini goal of mine for this account. But. In doing so, leveling up my endurance and strength, I decided to do a fun mini game called the Viking Gun Game. Essentially, it's pretty simple. The only weapons that I'm allowed to modify and use raid after raid are ones that I acquire from melee kills on scavengers, raiders, or players. So, in this video, we're going into woods and we're hunting down some scavs with a sword. I have some armor, I got some Zarya's and some medication and I'm trying my best to get my hands on a weapon before leaving to modify it so we can go after some PMCs with some actual good ammunition and modified weapons. So that being said, let's dive into some of this action on Woods. If this is a player, we're gonna have to nail this flash. It is a player. It's a pistol guy. Oh god. No! I'm out of stamina! Oh! No! 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 I can't! I have no stamina! I have no stamina! I can't get him! Where is he? Ah! Oh! Every time I get close, I can't catch him! He's gonna get killed by the scav. Fuck, dude! This is where a stam stint would come in handy. What the hell is wrong with you? Hey, that's a victory in my books. <laughs> Fuck! I need to kill this guy, there's a Mosin on me. Damn it! Stay there. Okay, that was... That was very, very bad. But you know what? We got the job done. Now there's a Mosin guy. All right, we're in business. Well, fuck that.
Don't know where he went. Oh! Well. Um. I'm going. I don't know what was in his backpack, but I'm going because that guy was really close to me. No, that was a different dude. Oh, better Mosin Re? Yeah, but I, I just don't want to... I want to get this Saga and mod it, so I'm going to keep pushing out. Because there was a dude, like, right on her asshole there, so I didn't want to be, like, fucking around with the Mosins while this guy comes up and shoots me in the head, so... I want to keep on rolling. Yes! There's a motor there. Ooh, Saga until the end, Theroy Jenkins. Saga, or I have to get a melee kill to switch out my guns. All right. Awesome. Well, that was a fun one. Ah, <laughs> uh, good times. Now that I've survived the raid, I have a Saiga that I need to completely modify. So the first plan is to do a bit of a mixed bag of Magnum, Buckshot, and Flechette rounds just to play around and do something different. Although it didn't really work out the best, it was still kind of fun and different. But here's a quick look at what I decided to do with the Saiga. Fully modded, 20 round magazines with a couple 10 rounds as well. And I decided to go with the lowest recoil that I possibly could get on the gun without doing anything weird with a Night Force. Well, I guess the pistol's better. See ya. Bye, guys. See you later. I'm not even gonna loot him. Yep, fuck me. Fuck me. That guy at that P226 is... Oh, my God. All right, see you later, boys. GG's, everybody. Wow. That worked great. That worked great. Nothing wrong with that. That was awesome. Fuck. The next factory raid was super weird. I had an AS Val player that rushed my spawn position, but wasn't willing to push. I knew it was a Val because he killed the player right off the start so I could tell with the gunshots, but he was just sitting and waiting for me to push, and with Buckshot, that guy was possibly armored. I needed him to push so I could potentially do leg meta. So it ended up being this really weird cat and mouse situation where I never actually spotted the player, but I kept on hearing the Val throughout the factory raid. I would have pushed him if I was going to catch him at a position, which just didn't happen. So I just ignored him and just played the factory, basically knowing he was there, but not willing to actually engage. Actually, dude, this like mag management is so annoying. He's going to be probably down there playing extraction. Yeah, the VSS now the VSS pushed right over to me at the very beginning and then didn't push over. So I'm not too sure exactly what this guy's up to, but he wants me dead. That's for sure. I never got a look at him though. So I don't really, so I don't really know what we're dealing with here. Oh, 
Guy's playing top right outside. Could be player scav. Oh god. Everything happened at once. Yeah, this VSS boy is just going to wait until he, he's just going to sneak into a position to counterattack. That's it. That's it. That's his plan. All right, we got to lube up, man. We gotta rub our legs with some lubrication again. Hey, he's playing low left right now. The, the spray isn't working as well as I expected it to. Yeah, see the VSS just wrapped over it from underground. You can hear him now. I think we fight this guy, we lose, personally. My last plan to see if I can get this player to run out of his hole was to actually make a very vocal and noisy rush towards the extraction. If he was actually going to try to chase me, through that sprint, I would try to go for the leg meta. But it never happened, so I'm not going to waste your guys' time. This is just part of the story of this weird saga run. What the fuck? Where are you? You nuts? What the hell? Oh, these are not going to work. I was expecting better, I was expecting greatness out of this, but um, I don't know. Anyway, we've got a raider here somewhere. I think he's like right side, like in here. Maybe not. Ten rounder in the gun? Yeah. We'll reload into the drum. Let's just start looting. He shows up. Let's see. Yeah, he's got rip slugs in here. What? You see that flashlight? It's going through the wall.
Oops, a grenade. Where the hell did this guy even come from? Oh. That seemed like a player, man. Fuck. Oh, because it is. This is gonna be sketchy. I might go, I might go leg meta. Oh. He's like going into this room behind me. That sucks. I have to go for the legs, bro. Oh, fuck. Oh, God. Ah, oh, shit. Well. All right, jeez. <laughs> I he's dead. I couldn't tell, man. It'd be tragic. It'd be tragic if uh, he was still alive. You know, I thought he was dead. I couldn't tell. I couldn't tell if he was dead or not. To be honest, I was like trying to shoot through the pipes. All right, I'm glad that we, um, glad we switched to that AK because, uh, we would have definitely died without it. The SIG is a failure. Hey, man, no, we got to use it till we lose it. I think, um, what I might do is put AP20 slugs in it next time and just run those. This guy's running BTs. I don't know if all of his mags were BTs, but he had some BTs. BP as well. And he's probably thinking if I had BS, I would have killed him, you know? And that's probably true. Oh, okay. I can't loot his pockets. Okay. So this guy ended up being just a med runner. So you can collect a lot of these stims from various key locations on labs and sell them either on the flea market or directly to therapists to make a pretty decent amount of money. I am super lucky that I switched to the AK there in the middle of the fight because that player actually positioned himself perfectly in the middle of the pipes. So if I tried to spray him with buckshot, it just wasn't going to happen. Odds are barely any of the buckshot would have actually hit him and I would have died. So. At this point, I'm like, okay, Buckshot, we, we got to drop this. We got to pick up the big daddy slugs, the AP-20 slugs. And I decided to put the new optic that is kind of meant for the VPO bolt action on the Saiga to create a weird sniping Saiga. And that was going to be a lot more comfortable than using Buckshot. Although, don't get me wrong, there's definitely situations where Buckshot is nice but when it comes to going up against some of these guys that have some really good armor, it just isn't going to be cutting it. And I need something that can actually pack a bit more of a punch. Man, someone's already playing middle of the woods. 
What's the ergo? Like low 30s? on top of these rocks. Let's pull back. Everybody wants me to die this raid. I can't see the laser. There we go. Oh, oh no, that's not what I meant to do. another one though oh I dropped the no I dropped I dropped it off oh. F's in the chat for my magazine boys The team of two. <sighs> Is it a team of three? This thing sounds weird. Wow. Take his glasses. Okay, so that guy got killed by the, his teammate. My fucking case is full again. Will we back, baby? I wonder if my name gets butchered again, X. Oh, it definitely will. Yes. I don't know your name yet, but I'm assuming yep, just be prepared. The butcher is coming. Oh, oh, jeez. Wait, wait, wait. Hold the phone. I could just do that. I could just hold on. I could just do that. There. Look. Great. 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 Fantastic. Well, I really do not want to deal with that guy now. So I think I'm just going to avoid. We got a backpack full of juicy loot. Let's just keep moving. Hiya! 
sounds like somebody is shooting. It's, it sounds like somebody slap shot at a hockey puck and it hit the, the boards. When I shoot this thing. So, uh, yeah, I really want to go for that, but we can run it back and maybe try to get a Sturman. I just, this is some good loot. This is some good victories. Let's just try to capitalize on it. The whole point of today was to get our guns strictly through melee attacks. And then from there, we can modify them. So we've used the Vepper Hunter, an Adar, and a Saiga today. That sounds quiet. I think the Viking gun game creates some pretty interesting stories and playthroughs with weapons that I don't use that often. Unfortunately, despite all the awesome action and chaos I had with this saga, this is how I ended up dying with this build. And I'll leave you guys with that. Thank you guys so much for watching. Consider subscribing for some more Escape from Tarkov and checking me out. I stream live Monday through Saturday at 8.30 a.m. Eastern Standard Time on Twitch. A link to that will be included in the description box below. Yeah, I've used this webcam for four years. Well, killed the two geared guys. I think I got shot to my back right though. Well, that's it. It's the way she wrote, boys. Ripperino, end of the streak. Yeah, end of the street. Good shot, things. Good shot, man.